We have a Peasant's War building up because... Manpower is not at 50%. And because we have net negative stab with 50% overextension. Not ideal. Start trying to improve relations with Pope Man. Alright, the nobles have 81% influence. If we give them that other province, they'll be too influential. Focus admin? Yeah, actually. I don't normally like to focus on a monarch point until I know what the next couple of rulers are going to be, like what the generation is going to look like, but these guys should be on rebel suppression. We have... We have 11 unrest in our home provinces. Overextension, war exhaustion, negative stab, denied newborn daughter. Like, there's a lot of problems here. We could reduce over our war exhaustion. That would be nice. Taking this much land. You guys are crazy. I blame you. It was your fault. You, you convinced me. We shouldn't have done it. It's too much. We'll get him soon. Peasants Wars effect is going to be... Positive 5, National Unrest, Stability Cost, plus 50. It might happen no matter what I do. Like, our legitimacy is going down every month, or every year, due to the negative stability. So, buying it up twice is not really going to block it. Of course, we have truces with all of these people. Should have embargoed them before ending the war. We have a massive 4 power projection. 53 and 53. However, Madrid is 15% overextension for... So it's 3 times the overextension for not 3 times the money. I'm going to wait and save up for this one. Break to Lollard to reset stab. We could think about that, yeah. If we, uh, if we allow the rebels to break our country, we'll reset our stab to zero. We're talking about not having them enforce demands, but having them occupy 50% of our country on the monthly tick. The effects are autonomy and negative prestige. If I had a button where I could sacrifice 50 prestige to gain two stab, while I have a deficit of admin points, would I click it? Probably. Considering I'm willing to, you know, murder babies. Probably. France is doing just fine against Burgundy, it looks like. Even Granada rivaled Castile. Yikes. What about naming your cat Cat? That was a good suggestion that someone made on the, uh, the video I put on YouTube. Castile allied Galicia, okay. Someone suggested we call him Cat 1.0, which is a perfectly reasonable name, I think. Peasants Wars no longer progressing. No, that's not true. It says 0%, but it is progressing at 3 per month. But the big thing that stops it is getting manpower above 50%, which is 12733. So we need 3116.5 manpower, and we recover. 103 per month. So in 31 months, we will have enough manpower. However, it, yeah, 31 months is too long. So, this is a situation where I think that if we had professionalism, I would slacken standards. And since we don't, I would still consider exploiting development. This helps in two different ways. Number one, it... Um... It gives us the manpower that we, that we need, but it also lowers our maximum manpower. The nobles do have a raise additional levies button, but their loyalty has to be higher. I think we'll wait until we can full core something else. 
before granting them another province. With just doing that one exploit development. 1, 2, 7, 3, 3, divided by 2. We need 6,366 minus the 4,000 on the dot that we have, divided by recovery rate of 102. It's now going to take 23 months. How many months do we have? We have 9 months. Alright, we're just going to have to grant the nobles this other province, even though it's a province that should go to the burgers. That gives us maximum manpower efficiency here. Unfortunately, there is no manpower to to uh, exploit, but that makes them loyal, and then we can just do this. One, two, five, four, eight, divided by two. That actually solves the problem. Peasants' War is averted. Now we just have to worry about Civil War, which is due to overextension being above 10%, and stability needs to be not not negative. Um, however, this one we have a lot longer to deal with. It's the rebels that I'm a little bit more worried about next. Sixty percent progress on these. I think we'll reset stab with the uh, the guys. I will I will pay that price. Looks like uh, Aragon's been excommunicated. Have our army actually hang out in Valencia. Offensive terrain. And I want to check to see where the rebels would spawn most likely. So the Castilian Separatists have five provinces. The Lollard Heretics are going to be a larger army. Provinces that they're upset in are Valala, Valladolid, Madrid, Soria, Asturias, Cantabria. So where they spawn is based on highest development. So out of the list of those provinces, Valladolid. So looks like they're gonna spawn in Madrid. We just want to make sure that we're not that our army's not hanging out in Madrid. And the one that I want to actively suppress is the Castilian separatists, if possible. But I can't really pick and choose very well. Our ancestors are watching. Gain 20 legitimacy and 20 prestige for just 13 ducats. Okay. <laughs> Streamer luck, right? Pretty helpful. That's going to help out with the uh, the Civil War a fair bit. It's going to slow it down to... Well, it actually doesn't affect the Civil War at all, but... It would have helped the Peasants' War. We still have... One more province causing overextension, so we're almost done with the overextension problems. I will definitely pay that price. Who would not click that button? I don't know. Can you form Spain and stick with the achievement? Yeah, that's what I said. We're, we're doing two achievements. We're doing why is all the rum gone, and we're also going for the other one. Unfortunately, the Castilian Separatists are the ones that are going to fire first. Ah, oh, it's not good. France, are you, are you really busy? Will you help out with this war? We're going to have to reduce the size of this rebellion. I can't deal with this many troops. Valencia. 22 unrest. 4 from negative stab. 5 from controlled by nobility, and they are mad. One thing we can do is just, if we get into an active offensive war, Calling, Air, uh, calling France in. He really wants my Majorca. Let's see if France is willing to do a war while he's in this defensive war against Burgundy. Probably not, unfortunately. And the rebels could fire, like, right now. Hey, Lollards are advancing. Good. France does not owe us favors, and they're not interested in joining on a promise of territory because they are fighting in another war and accepting would destabilize France. They have a truce with 
Nobody. They've got CB. They must have temporary... Do they have military access through Aragon? Is that it? Do they have over 100 opinion? Aragon likes France. France doesn't like Aragon, so there shouldn't be a penalty for that. Unless I'm getting it mixed up in my head and I'm, I'm treating it backwards. I think I am. I think you're right. Alright, well... There's really nothing we can do to influence that. Alright, other options are we could just harsh treatment. I hate doing that right now. This is um, it's just throwing away monarch points, but... The Castilian Separatists will break free. I can't beat... Eight. I cannot beat an 18 stack. Not a chance. And, er and France is too distracted to actually come over and help. Unless we're in a war together. So it looks to me like we're going to have to harsh treatment. Can you exploit where you pause it exactly 100%? That's what I'm doing on the monthly ticks. To see if I need to do harsh treatment. If the Law Lord Heretics fire, I'll be happy actually. If they somehow get lucky and catch up, and then they fire. Nice. They're at 90%. Could happen. The thing is that they would need to fire, we'd still need to be at peace, and they would need to occupy 50% of the country before the Castilian Separatists fire. Because if you get broken while you have active Separatists, they ex they enforce their demands as well, and we would lose all Castilian cores. So we just lose, like, most of our country. Which would be real bad. Do I have a truce with Leon? I do. Yeah, until July of 57. Three years. I think we're gonna have to do harsh treatment on the Castilian Separatists. Just is what it is. Getting pretty damn lucky with this dice roll. It hasn't fired yet. And we've got one more core to start that causes overextension. Burgos at 100. Can they fight each other? Yes, they can. Backup save? Sure. Just in the interest of saving time. If we have to restart, you know. Civil War is progressing quite slowly. To stop the Civil War, we need to do... Um, legitimacy needs to be at 75 to stop the Civil War. And it's still decreasing because of the negative stab. So, we've we'll, <laughs> got a bunch of things we got to spend military points on. Hopefully not buying down this stuff. Alright, time for a new state. Once again, both sitting at 90%. Also, I think we'll take it a slight income hit to do um, established communities just to try to reduce the extra penalty or like the extra decay speed on our aggressive expansion. Also, I'm going to steer away from Genoa just because I want to make Aragon a little bit weaker. And then down here, uh, we don't really care about that, that node. What is the first of the month trick? Uh, so look at the, see in the outliner right here, it says Rebel Factions are at 90%. Watch what happens. If on the first you pause it, and then you check to see if any of them are at 100%, that means that the 21.5% chance to increase the progress by 10% triggered. It fired. However, the Rebellion doesn't happen until the next day, on the second. So if you, on the first, while paused, notice that you're at 100%, you then go in and re kind of retroactively harsh treatment, then, on the second, because they're not at 100%, they do not fire. So as long as you just pause on the first of every single month, you can only harsh treatment if absolutely necessary. And unfortunately, that is kind of an optimal playstyle thing to do, so I pretty much never, ever, ever um, don't do it. I have to do it. There we go. So the Law Lords fired, which is fine. We need to get that last core started, though. And Soria, actually, we can full core. What's more important, full cores or buying up stab? Full cores, because we're going to reset stab with this thing, in theory. This can also now be assigned to an estate. It's a 2 2 1 clergy. Get some money out of that. Of 
course they spawned over here. I didn't check that. Darn it. So we're going to have to fight for 12 days. And of course, he's rolling nines and zero. Damn you. Say goodbye to 3,600 manpower. Oops. We'll core the gold mine first. I was just looking at possible alliances, yeah. Um, Pope is the closest. They're a little bit... They think that our, our army is weak. It's part of the problem. They're neutral toward us right now as well. We just need some more time to recover economically, and then uh, we'll be able to get some better allies. I'm going to get military access through France. Now, we just want to keep crossing our fingers, hope that the Castilian Separatists just never fire. I mean, they're, they're probably going to, but, you know, you never know. Rebels are going to do bad things to our country, but it's still free Monarch points, as far as I'm concerned, so we'll take it. May need to fire one of these advisors. We could suppress rebels, sure, but I'm I'm a little worried that the Lollard heretics are gonna move toward Vizcaya next. That's why I got access through France, just to try to hide the army a bit. France can't hire kind of theory from us anyway. What about Provence? No. I think we're still just kinda of crossing our fingers and hoping. We have a total province count of 11 provinces, so if six get occupied, then on the next monthly tick we get broken, and we will get our stability reset to zero. Crap. I unpaused too quickly. But the rebels are fighting each other, which means we might actually be able to deal with this issue. Okay, um, that's great. The Lollards have the defensive position against the superior, is it superior? 2-0 versus 1-2? That's fine. The, the Lollards will definitely win. If we train up two more troops, we can take that 7 stack pretty easily. I'm going to do this. Okay, so Castilian rebels are being taken care of here. Hopefully we'll have time to finish this troop before he moves. He's going to move to probably the next highest dev province adjacent to him. Eight versus nine. He might be moving into Vizcaya. So we'll see. not always the highest development province, but that does seem to be the logic, usually. Okay, they have a 2-1 with zero maneuver. We've got five maneuver. I'm sorry, two maneuver, so we negate the river crossing. Um, I'm willing to just take this fight now. So he's actually going into Palencia, which is the lowest development adjacent province. Interesting choice. Granted, generalship expired. Can't get a new one because they're not 30% loyal. Burgundy pieced out. Great. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh... Let's still get a claim on Aragon, even though we have we had excommunicated ruler. Easiest one to defend is probably going to be Teruel. Let's see if France is willing to join that war. Hey, we has Babby. Our Babby is not very good though. He's a one three two. Not the greatest baby.
Therefore, he's an Enrique. So if we were to declare war on Aragon, France will come in on a promise of territory now and help with rebels. But at this point, because we are basically already taking care of the Castilian stack ourselves, I think I'd rather just not have France help us anymore. My, my plan completely changed when most of the Castilian rebels got taken care of by some of the Lollard heretics. So now I'd rather take advantage of the rebels breaking the country so that we can reset stab and effectively gain admin points. It's basically worth, uh, for comparison's sake, it's like gaining 94 times 2. So 200 minus 12, 188 admin points. That's pretty good. At the expense of 50 prestige, I'd pay for that. Just like I'm going to pay to murder the baby. What do you think? Shall we just immediately dis just immediately disinherit this guy? He's pretty bad. If we don't, if we if we let the rebels break us first, then we'll have negative prestige. We won't be able to do it. So I think we get rid of him. Kill Babby. Kill the Enrique. Of course, these province effects are quite bad, but it's mostly just manpower and money, and the unrest doesn't matter because there's negative unrest here because of the recent rebellion. We'll go back to hiding in this... Ah, shoot. We need to unoccupy Cuenca. For some reason, I thought that was already done. Okay, um, let's core Madrid. No, La Mancha. And I think we probably just want to lower autonomy here, despite the upcoming unrest. One, two, three, four, five provinces occupied right now, out of 11 total, which means we don't break yet. Six need to be occupied. So we have time to unoccupy this. If they broke right now, it'd be the same thing as accepting the demands for Castiles right here. In which case, we'd lose Cuenca, La Mancha, and Rioja. So that's why we have to definitely unsiege this. Lazy Diplomat, thank you. Yeah. Uh, what was he working on before? I got a claim on Aragon. Guess we could top off relations with France for now. Waiting on one more occupation then. So once Madrid is done, our stab will magically go back up to zero. And everything will be golden in the world. Gain reform desire or lose opinion with the Pope? Uh, I want to um, not lose opinion with the Pope. Think about maybe allying him. We just died. Okay. We now have the same dynasty as France. We have negative three stab, but <laughs> next month we're going to reset our stab from negative three to zero. Nice. Okay, so again, if you're not familiar with this, you've never seen it before. Because we have 11 provinces, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 provinces occupied. That means that on the next monthly tick, we will get broken by the rebels. Rather than them enforcing demands, which is in 20 months. There's a big, big, big difference between rebels enforcing demands on you because they've done stuff, versus this half your country being occupied situation. Again, it's also super, super important that you recognize that you have to be at peace. You cannot break to rebels while you're at war. Flame throne? I mean, you guys, you don't actually think we can, like, beat France right now, right? So, this won't happen until the next monthly tick. So on August 1st, we're going to reset to zero stab. Boom. Zero stab. We lost the prestige. Because we've collapsed, they've enforced heresy everywhere. We lost 50 prestige, extra 20 autonomy. None of that matters because we just gained 3 stab for free. And crisis is averted. Now we're just waiting on the overextension to complete with Burgos.